So I have just finished binging all of the Knees Over Toes guy, Jefferson, no, not Jefferson. Well, there's some Jefferson curls in there, but there's also a lot of Nordic curls. And I went out into my backyard here and set up my own little Nordic strap, which um, I thought would be pretty cheap and easy for most people. So I wanted to share the idea with you guys. It's just a belt. Uh, in this case, like just a jiu-jitsu white belt, um, super cheap, but you can also just use any belt. So if you have an extra old belt lying around that's not gonna break under pressure, like maybe a real leather belt would be good for this. Um, I plan on just leaving this thing outside, so I don't know if you can do that with leather, but in this case, I don't care about that thing. I'm just gonna leave it out there. And this allows me to do some pretty sad Nordics by just feeding my feet into the straps. I've got this piece of foam here left over from a playroom that I put together for uh, the kids in the basement. And I have this pretty tight. You might want to have it a tiny bit looser, but I like to have my feet nice and secure. And my Nordics are so sad, but I'm just kind of working on this eccentric piece, pushing myself back up because I'm going to try to work up to being able to do a single Nordic curl. So just by getting these uh, reps in, time under tension for those underdeveloped hamstrings of mine. So that's my super cheap solution to Nordic equipment, the Nordic curl equipment. And I'll bring you in just so you can have a look here. It's really just a belt fed through the deck boards under this joist. So there's just two loops and it's just tied off like that. And just a piece of foam. You can use whatever you want for the knee cushioning. That's all it seems is necessary for me, but uh, yeah, hope that helps you guys.